Long time no see, talk, hear, whatever. I don't know. Anyway, I have this channel, so I think I should make videos on it. And uh, I have so many Bibles I could show, and I don't know why I don't. I just, I mean, I do know. I'm busy. Probably just like you. But I enjoy watching videos like this because it helps me to unwind, and I learn a little something. So I'm going to try to make this short. Famous last words. How often do you hear YouTube people say that? And then they just fail miserably. I'm good at that. This came from R.L. Allen, as I just showed you. I always order from Bibles Direct when I order an Allen Bible. We got off to a rocky start, but um, we're good now. And I uh, love me some Allen Bibles. And uh, I see something there that I don't know if I want to cut or not. But I, I like cutting things. Cut, cut, it, cut, cut. And uh, this is... A Bible. <laughs> and more. Oh, yes. So, let's see what we've got here. Wow, that's interesting. All right. Let me move this aside for the Mo. Wow, I'm actually really pretty impressed with what this is that I'm about to show you. It's something that I've been wanting for a while. I took a chance and I ordered two of them because I hate it when I have a Bible and I want to look in the concordance and there isn't one, but that's not going to be a problem anymore. And I... I've ordered two of these and actually have at least another one on the way. Ah, I love it. Already I love it. When they say pocket, they really mean it. These are four pounds. Let's see. I'm fine if it's super small print. It is great. Now I always want to check. Let's see. I usually check Samson just because I know how many entries a typical concordance has, which is zero, and then sometimes three or four. And if it's a good concordance, it has like six. So the paper is super thin and the print's super small and I just don't care because I'm, wow, it's like tissue paper. Seriously, it's wicked thin. This must be like, I don't even know, 18 GSM or something. I'm not sure, but uh, I love it because it's something that I want to keep in my bag with my Bible and, okay, seriously, the problem is not the paper. It's the fact that I'm trying to talk and do something at the same time. Although I have to say this paper is amazing. It's amazingly thin and it's not easy to turn, but for what it is, I wouldn't change it. You know what I mean? And if you don't want to know what I mean, then I'm sorry. Samson, you're not here. Oh well, still better than no concordance. Um, I don't know if there's any kind of an introduction in the beginning to say like how many entries or whatever there are, but so you've got a little bit thicker paper at the beginning, presumably to <clears throat> make it stronger. And then it just jumps right in, concordance. At the end, I reckon it's going to be the same, a thicker piece of paper. And then this, how many pages is this? A 139 pages. So anyway, that's going to go with my net uh, full notes Bible, because that doesn't have a concordance. It's going to go with, I, it's, I love it. I love it. This is probably going to always be with me now. That's, that's pretty cool. So I got two of those. And I think whenever I order an Allen Bible from now on, I might just add that onto the order because why not? And then the main event, holy moly, we're already at three minutes and 35 seconds. It's shocking. This is, I believe, not meant to be uh, an imperfect or anything like that. It just is the thing. And it is <laughs> uh, this. It's uh, an Allen 43P, Long Primer Thin Line KJV Reference Bible, and Purple Highland Goat Skin, but this time with Purple Art Gilt Under Gold. So, Purple Under Gold Art Gilt, however you prefer that I say it, or that you say it yourself, or that someone else say it. And why aren't you focusing? Okay, so this box goes away. But this box, it will stay. I made a poem. Okay, <clears throat> I love this... Uh, size and I love the leather and I, it's great. So here we go. And I probably maybe purple under gold is my favorite uh, combination for art gilt. Although I have to admit these days I have a, a fondness for Bibles that are red or black and red with the red under gold. So, but purple, purple's kind of where it's at. If they had pink Bibles, like as a thing that was actually available or like yellow or turquoise, then there, there would be other issues to consider, but I'm not going to try to save this paper. I just, I can't, I can't be asked. So I'm just going to take it right off. And I don't even know if we're in focus. 
this is just meant to be an unboxing and a first look. I'm not trying to give a review, but I will say that I love this Bible and mm mm mm. So here we go. It's got some weight to it. It's a great size, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, but I'm gonna smell it now. Mmm, smells like leather. Mmm, smells like I wanted to smell. Now, I really have very few complaints about this uh, at first, I mean, without inspecting it, which I will. But one little tiny thing is, it would be kind of cool if the liner was a slightly, like, darker or lighter shade of purple, either way, just to add a little variety. But otherwise, I'm pretty much fine with it. Seems like there's something there. Let's have a look at that. Again, I don't want this to be all in-depth. There's kind of like a little dent in the leather. Eh, I'm fine. Now, people talk about Charfleet's corner work all the time. I've got a number of Champ Bibles, and uh, I don't want to go into this too much, but that corner looks good to me. There are all different ways to do corners. Like, it's not sort of a, you know, the kind of thing where there's only one right way or whatever. This one's not perfect, but it's fine. You know what I mean? Like, it's um, it's fine. It's totally fine. And then, quickly looking at these... And I think for their, uh, especially 43, 53, and 63, um, I reckon that Charfleet's using some of their more, I don't know, skilled people. I could be wrong about that, but comparing the stuff that I've got, my King James ones have better consistency. This corner, you can see there's more distance between the gilt line and the edge here than there is, or uh, rather here than there is here. But I mean, pff, I just, I don't know. If it's centered, I'm pretty much good. Is it centered? It is. Let's take a look at the yap. And I'm sorry if it keeps going out of focus. I'm doing my best here. It's very nearly a full yap. It's a very generous semi-yap. Semi-yap with two Ps, apparently. Okay. And then get out of here. You focus. All right. And again, I said quickly and I just am not capable, so... Uh, I have to give credit to Bo Tate for making short videos with more information. <laughs> That's pretty amazing. Well done, Bo. Doesn't look, you didn't make it look easy, but it's not because I'm already at seven minutes. So you open it up. Obviously, it's edge line, beautiful gilt line around it. It says Highland Goatskin here. This particular one has a little mark there, which I'm fine with. Well, the edge lining is really well done, it's straight. And it's tabbed in about half of the width of the Bible because this is a 43. It's the slim one, the the thin line, right? Okay. Got a little something right there. Looks like a little... What is that? Here we go again. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Something got on there. And it's going to be hard to show on camera, but it's... It's definitely there. It's not not there. It's not my imagination. But as I've come to realize, if you look closely enough, it just seems like there's always something. There's something got on there, but I don't know. It look, might be just some... could be like a little bug. I don't know. I'm not going to fuss about it because I'm not going to be looking at that page. Let's go on. Let's take a look at the gilding really quick. It seems to be in order... There, there, and there. It's actually better than my other purple under golds. I think those are a little bit discounted because they had trouble with the corners. So that's nice. Um, let me finish looking at the beginning here. Hope I'm not making you dizzy. <laughs> anyway, you've got a number of blank, white, thicker pages at the beginning. Gives it some more uh, body than a presentation page. Family record, children. These are all thicker. And then, Holy Bible, since the video is already long. Ah, oh, let's see here. It lays pretty dang flat. I probably zoomed in a little bit too far. Make sure I'm focused-ish. All right. <clears throat> letter two of the Epistle Dedicatory. And then you don't get the letter from the translators, which I would have liked to have, but that's okay. I don't reckon I'm going to read it that many times. And then you get into the text. I forget. I want to say this is a 28 GSM. 
And as you can see, it's purple under gold, which is pretty cool, pretty amazing, pretty awesome. It's hard to get just the right level of zoomage. Okay, but I like, I like, I like it a lot. Um, okay, so that that's the front, and then the back. That's what you've got. Allen binding by Charfleet Book Bindery. I'm just gonna tell you the truth right here. I just sold a house, and it was like a super stressful thing, and it was a house my father left me. And there are all kinds of issues with it. And I wanted to use some, a very small part of the money to buy something that would always be in the family that I could re remember, you know, that that's where it came from. So I bought some Bibles. This this, this is not one of them, but uh, kind of went a little nuts today. Anyway, index to the maps, the maps, not glossy. I don't care, but anyway, they're not glossy. Slightly thicker paper. Very rare for a map to show the crossing of the Red Sea actually occurring at the Red Sea, which I didn't realize until recently, but uh, I don't even know what this is. Check your Bibles in the back. You might discover that like, they don't say that the Red Sea was even crossed, and I don't, I don't really understand what that's about, but if you're watching this, feel free to talk about it in the comments. All right, so this has a massive concordance and, I don't know, some kind of a mark right there. I don't know if everybody gets that <laughs> or what, but anyway, they released this not too long ago with blue under gold, or maybe it was blue under silver. I can't remember. I want to say maybe it was blue under silver. I can't remember. I just said the same thing twice. Uh, but anyway, because I love purple under gold so much, I kind of had to have this. Anyway, uh, 246 pages. That's the concordance. And that is a beefy, beefy concordance. And we love it. And... I won't bother with Samson's. And then you have a subject index. I guess I will show Samson just because I mentioned that earlier. And I have an excuse for why it's so long because I actually am showing three three volumes in this video. Uh, yeah. So turning, turning, turning the pages, hoping it's not blurry, not really knowing, hoping against hope. Uh, Samson, come on now. Where are you? You're on the next page. So this paper is definitely thin and some people... I mean, they might complain a little bit about the opacity, but more I hear people complain about the 28 GSM paper because it's harder to turn and separate the pages like this when they're stuck together. But it's just, to me, that's part of the experience. And I I don't know, I guess it can be a little irritating at times, but... Oh, you don't even have Samson in here. What is wrong with you? Well, that's one strike against this Bible, but I'm going to forgive it because it's purple under gold. All right. Then proper names. I skip past the topical index revelation and I will set it down so you can have a good look at it in a moment. I just wanted to show that it's not red letter. Okay and it's close now. Is it line matched? I always can't remember. This one and I didn't remember to check either. Obviously you've got references in the middle and the translator's notes which the one complaint I have about the Canterbury from Schuyler is they took out the translator's notes, and I want those. I really want those. And yet, how many Canterbury's do I own? Ah, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. There, I just can't... Uh, no, okay, good. It's not line match. Now I know. Not good. I would prefer that it is. But the paper's decently opaque. It's not an issue for me. Um, it's really high quality paper. This is European paper. I forgot to show that. I didn't forget. I just haven't done it yet. Oh, cat. Oh, cat. You do not need to come in at this exact moment. I hope that that's not true. I hope that he doesn't decide to leave me a special present somewhere because this is the room that has the litter box. Okay, here we go. Printed in the Netherlands on acid-free paper by Royal Youngblood. And the binding, as I mentioned before, is done by Charfleet, and I'm totally fine with this binding. I didn't mention the white head bands or head and tail bands. And then I don't remember if this is blackberry or purple. Anyway, basically it's purple, regardless of what they call it, um, ribbons. Now, with my premium Bibles, it's actually rare that the ribbons are installed properly. And I will try to show you what I mean by that. If I can just get these out first. Uh, I like to let them breathe, you know. Okay, so these are extra long, which is appreciated because you can always cut them shorter, but it's hard to make them longer <laughs> if you want them to be longer. Okay, these look like they're actually really well done. I'm, I'm impressed. 
quite often you get ribbons that are spaced oddly, like you'll have two at the front and then a space and then one in the back, or you'll have them twisted like as they're glued, like they did it in a hurry, but these look like they're really well done. So, hey, well done, Charfleet. And uh, as I said before, it's centered, everything. I mean, it's not perfectly centered, you can tell because, okay, so the bottom corner overlaps the gilt line, but the top corner ever so slightly overlaps less. I mean, that's just really nitpicking and I'm fine with it. I'm quite happy with this. It wasn't cheap. I don't remember how much it costs, like a hundred and, I might as well just tell you, 160 pounds or something like that. I'll actually have a look. Sorry, 150 pounds. So not a cheap Bible, but I really love this form factor of this one. And then you've got this amazing Highland goat skin and it's just, oh baby, it's always so hard to show the purple, you know what I mean? To make it really pop because it's a dark purple. But this uh, colorway is money. And oh, how cool that I opened to Romans. I've actually been studying through Romans in the KJV. And I'll just, because the video is already long, I'll throw this in there in case anybody's, I don't know, interested. As I was reading through Romans, I, I believe I finished it. I might be in the last chapter. Um, I discovered that damnation doesn't always mean in the KJV to send someone to hell or for someone to go to hell. It, which makes sense, actually, because they use the term eternal damnation, which, I mean, it would be redundant otherwise. But damnation, in some cases, just means the same as judgment or condemnation. And in, obviously, modern <coughs> English, damnation does mean you going to hell, which is something we shouldn't joke about. But, you know, anyway, so I was really... And I still struggle with a bit uh, in the in Romans. I was like, whoa, like in 13.2, I think it is, Paul's like, you better do what the authorities tell you or you'll be damned. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. So, uh, yeah, I don't think that you're telling me that if I, you know, um, exceed the speed limit, for example, I'm going to I'm going to be in a, in a in a world of hurt. But. It does sound really harsh. So, and there was another reference, but I, I want to say it was 13 too. So I'm, I'll show that if I can. And I'm just, you know, I'm just waffling on now at this point. But, okay. And as you can see, the pages are a little thin. You do have to get used to them. Uh, really? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Romans 12. Wow, these are Romans 13. There we go. Okay. Two, whosoever therefore resisteth. Can you even see what I'm talking about here? <laughs> All right, hopefully that's good enough. Stop wobbling. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of God, and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Yeah, so maybe spend some time, if you're going to read the King James, uh, familiarizing yourself not only with the words that you clearly don't know, because there are going to be words like that, uh, but the words that you think you know, because the meaning of them has changed a little bit over time. Um, but that's one of the fun things about the King James is I have to slow down when I read it. And it makes me stop and think about, I mean, I've read Romans, I don't know, a hundred times, probably more. I love it. Of course, I love it. It's Romans. But, you know, that's why I love the KJV, because it makes me slow down. Uh, so anyway, I've gone on and on. This is a beautiful Bible and I'm I have no complaints. I really don't. Uh, because I understand that it's handmade, there are going to be some issues. But I definitely would tell you if there were issues. Like if it were like well off-centered, for example, the spine. I don't know if I really gave you a good look at the spine. The spine, hello spine, now we're all zoomed in, sorry. The spine is very nicely centered. Look at that. This is uh, it's one of my favorite Bibles now because it's, it's awesome. Uh, I love this. I just want to sit down and read it. Uh, so maybe that's what I'll do. Hmm. Really, really lovely. Look at that leather grain. If only we had smell-o-vision. Actually, here's this grain's very interesting because it's kind of a finer grain here on this part. And then it gets kind of pebbly but big over here. It's really, really nice. I am a fan of this. I'm so glad I bought it. That's, that's a good Bible. Okay, thanks for watching. Too long. Love you, bye. Did you want to meet the cat? <laughs>
I'm a little concerned that you might do something to the ribbons, but let's see what happens. Sorry to keep you waiting, dude. Sniff everything. Oh yeah, stretch out. Oh, come here. I don't trust you enough to set you free completely, but here you go. Give it a sniff, look. It's a goat. Sniff the goat. Don't you want to sniff the goat? <laughs> He's not interested at all. You are a pagan cat. Here, look, look, Bible, Bible. Mmm, goat skin. Yeah, no interest? Good. I'd rather you not be interested. Okay, for reals, bye-bye.